Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite shortcuts and extensions in Visual Studio Code for Flutter development. So let's get started. This video shouldn't take so long and these concepts shouldn't really take so long to explain. So um, let's have a look at three of my favorite shortcuts here in Visual Studio Code for Flutter development. Um, the first one is Command Shift Y if you're on a Mac. And to be honest with you, I don't really know what this shortcut is if you're working on uh, Windows. It's It could be Windows Shift Y, I don't really know, but on Mac is Command Shift Y. And when you press that, you're going to be able to get to this bottom area where you can get to your debug console and output and problems and terminal like this. Command Shift Y toggles it for you. Uh, the other thing is um, Command Shift X is to get to extensions and then Command Shift E to get to your Explorer. So if you're toggling between extensions and Explorer, then this is really good for you. So Command Shift E to Explorer and Command Shift X to the extensions. Um, as I said, we're going to also look at some of my favorite uh, extensions in Visual Studio Code for Flutter development. So let's get started one by one here. The first extension extension that I really like is Better Comments. It helps you. Uh, it helps your comments to pop out a little bit more, uh, whereas the default comments are probably just like written in green. Better Comments allows you to, for instance, if you start your comments like this, then you can, uh, for instance, to pop. Uh, some information out as an attention, then you can just do an exclamation mark here and say, this is an important piece of information, for instance, and it becomes red, it becomes a bit bolder, so it's easier to read. Uh, and the other thing that Better Comments extension allows you to do is to have, for instance, to do's, and they are rendered in a specific color, um, which pops out also more. So you can say this is, this needs to be done. You can also have a um, question. Is this the right place to perform this, for instance? So if you start with a question mark, then it's going to be rendered as a question. And all the questions are going to be rendered in the same color. Uh, and also, if there is um, an important piece of information that you want to highlight, then you can start your uh, sentence with an asterisk to say, I need to grab your attention for this like that. And also you can do some other stuff, for instance, um, specify the documentation for your functions and the parameters and etc. But have a look at better comments. It's a, a really good extension for Visual Studio Code, especially if you're doing Flutter development. One of the other really, really good extensions that I find here in Visual Studio Code is bracket pair co uh, colorizer. Uh, I wanted to say colonizer, uh, but bracket pair colorizer is probably my favorite extension here in Visual Studio Code, just because it makes it so much better to get an idea where your code is starting and when it's ending. So for instance, you can see here, I can see that the, this bracket is yellow and or this parenthesis in this case, and here is yellow, then they're in the same block. Uh, without it, I find uh, blocks of code really boring, uh, boringly rendered in Visual Studio Code, but that's just my opinion. Um, it's really easy to set up, it's just to install it and then you can customize it if you want to later. I didn't customize it, I'm just running with the default colors and I find them absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's bracket pair colorizer. Uh, the other one, if you're, this one is more <clears throat> useful, excuse me, this one's more useful if you're doing CSS and HTML development. Um, and um, it's, it allows you, which is called color highlight, it allows you to see colors in, uh, in line. For instance, if you say my my CSS color is, uh, for instance, FFAABB, then you can see the color in line. But it's not as useful in Flutter uh, because you're probably going to create your colors with color 0xA8, for instance, like that. So let's see. So that's not going to render it for you in Flutter. So, uh, so as I said, it's more useful for HTML and CSS. Uh, of course, Dart and Flutter, two really good extensions that you're going to have, uh, essentially, if you're doing Flutter development in Visual Studio Code. Um, the other one that I really like, let's see, um, the other one that I really like is Flutter internationalization. Um, I find that absolutely 
fantastic when you're doing Flutter development with internationalization. I've done a separate video about this, so uh, if you want to have a look at that, um, it, it is available in my channel, and I can link to that uh, at the bottom of this uh, video in the descriptions. Uh, but it allows you to uh, work with your internationalization files a lot easier in Flutter. So that's also really good. Um, and I also have, let's see, um, the extensions that I've installed. So those, those are the ones. And they all, I also have AeroLens installed. Uh, let's see if I can find it for you here. AeroLens here. Um, you can enable it. And then if you, for instance, go to Visual Studio Code into your, now with Command Shift E, you can go to the Explorer, as you know. Uh, if you get an error, let's say final my stuff is uh, ABC 10. Uh, error lens gives you the error right here in line. Without error lens, you will only get this uh, uh, basically little red line under your error. And then you have to hover over it to get the actual error. Uh, but with error lens, you get the error right to the right hand side of your code. And I find that absolutely priceless. Um, one of the downsides of error lens is that it uh, can make your code a little bit, um, how do I say it, difficult to navigate, especially if you're beginning with Flutter, because you're going to make a lot of uh, mistakes while typing. And it could be a little bit overwhelming seeing a lot of errors to the right hand side. But you will get used to it. It's, in my opinion, it's better to have the errors transparent in the beginning to start with than just to have them pile up and then you have to find like find them and solve them uh, later. So yeah, that's it. That I have a very simple setup for Flutter development, as you can see, Visual Studio Code and a just a few extensions. Uh, the most important extensions for me are Airlines, and then I also have, as you saw, better comments, bracket pair colorizer and of course Dart and Flutter and Flutter internationalization. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, have a good day.